Okay, I did some looking into your guitar EQ and your bass EQ, and we'll, we'll be able to look at both of those on, it's called a PAZ or a psychoacoustic analyzer. So, uh, now sure enough, when I was talking about the, the clank of the bass that we're talking about and the bite of the guitars, both of those were living at around 3K. So what I've done here, I'll isolate the bass subgroup first. Now then. Okay, so I put the uh, snap of the bass, I mean, as much as I can, here at around, you know, 5K or so. Uh, you probably put that around 7K, I guess you would say. So here's the thing, when you look at the analyzer, what the, 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 the sound the bass is making, it is sure enough living at the 50 to 200 range. I'm sitting there pointing at it on my phone and you can't see it. Okay, that right there, that's where the bass lives. I mean, that's what it naturally did. And, you know, I'm cutting out the guitar. So now we're talking about the uh, the bite of the guitars versus the clank of the bass, so to speak. So I made sure that fucker lives at about 7K. So now let's take and add in the guitars. <laughs> So you can tell right here, you're living at around 3K or so on that guitar bite. That's what naturally existed in your frequencies. So guitar bite is around 3K, bass clank is around, I don't know, 7K. That's all pretty reasonable. And you'll see that the guitar really lives and that, I mean, there's stuff happening in the 100, but I mean, that 200 to 500 range, that's the main place the guitar lives. Then there's those upper harmonics where the guitar has the bite, so to speak. So, uh, you definitely want that bass down there in the 50 to 100 range. And really on kicks, um, you know, like I said, the kick is slapping the bass down. The kick is going to win the battle. So, let's pull the whole thing up. Let's kill all these. Let's kill that solo. Let's kill that solo. Now, it's going to show up as... <laughs> compressor on the bass when you see that yellow line there you want to get up here close where's the bass there we go that yellow line there that's showing how much the compressor is slapping shit down i never want a super heavy crazy compressor but i'm gonna let it slap it down but the kick is triggering the compressor of the bass the kick is controlling that it's called side chaining so this is a longer video than usual but i dude i, I cannot i mean i challenge sterling winfield to walk in here and tell me I'm wrong on this bass and guitar mix, but uh, uh, tell me if there's something else you want to hear, dude. Talk to you later. Bye.